How do I delete an Outlook shared mailbox? Are you wondering how to delete an Outlook shared mailbox? You are not alone. Many users find themselves needing to remove a shared mailbox for various reasons. Let's break down the steps you need to follow to do this effectively. First, the method you use will depend on how the shared mailbox was added and the version of Outlook you are using. If you are using the Outlook desktop application, you have a couple of options. One way is through the account settings method. Start by opening Outlook and clicking on the file tab. From there, select account settings and then click on account settings again. You will see a list of your accounts. Choose your primary email account, which could be Exchange or Microsoft 365. Click on change and then more settings. In the window that appears, navigate to the advanced tab. Here, you will find a section labeled open these additional mailboxes. Select the shared mailbox you want to remove and click on remove. After this, restart Outlook for the changes to take effect. Another method within the Outlook desktop application is the navigation pane method. Simply locate the shared mailbox in the left folder pane. Right, click on the mailbox name and look for the close shared mailbox option. Keep in mind that this option may vary depending on your version of Outlook. If you are using Outlook Web, also known as Outlook on the Web, the process is quite straightforward. Log in to OutlookOffice.com. In the left navigation pane, find the shared mailbox. Right, click on it and select Delete Shared Mailbox. You will need to confirm the removal and that's it. For those using Internet Message Access Protocol clients, such as Thunderbird, the steps are similar. Go to Tools and then Account Settings. Select the shared mailbox you wish to remove and click on Account Actions, followed by Remove Account. There are a few key considerations to keep in mind. If the shared mailbox was added through delegation or admin permissions, you may need to contact your IT team to revoke access. If you notice the mailbox reappearing, it could be due to auto-mapping settings in Microsoft 365. Also, be aware that older versions of Outlook, like 2016 or 2019, may require additional steps under the advanced settings. Newer versions, such as Microsoft 365, typically sync with server permissions automatically. After you have successfully removed the shared mailbox, it can be helpful to clear any cached data. You can do this by going to File, then Options, followed by Advanced, and finally, Outlook data file settings. If the mailbox still persists after these steps, consider recreating your Outlook profile or using the Mail app in the Windows control panel to manage your accounts. Following these steps will help you keep your Outlook client organized and focused on the mailboxes that matter most to you.